What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be uh, talking about why I think you should uh, read, or just in general get into the Star Wars Expanded Universe, or as it's known now, Legends. So uh, yeah, if you uh, like this video then please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars videos in the future on, you know, books, comics, games movies and tv shows and that and you know news and that so without further ado let's uh get into the topic so yeah yeah so uh why should you get into the uh star wars eu or legends well first thing is uh that uh there's a lot of story so there's you know, over a hundred novels, there's, you know, several video games, tons of comics, um, there's even a couple of TV shows, and a couple of movies outside of the main six. There's tons of content for you to dive into. It's a rich world of, you know, tons of stories and characters, you know, tons of Jedi, Sith, bounty hunters, you know, Mandalorians, you know, the Rebellion, you get that little fleshed out stuff, so, yeah, so, like, tons of stories, and there's, you know, plenty to uh, get into, there's, you know, if, you, if you're interested in the Old Republic, there's stuff with the Old Republic, books and stuff, if you're interested in the Clone Wars, there's comics and novels regarding that, and there's even... Uh, 2D animated uh, Clone Wars show, so you can watch that. And uh, maybe you're interested in post Return of the Jedi stuff, you know, the New Jedi Order or um, yeah, any of that stuff. So there's there's a uh, tons to explore. the uh, The next reason is um, continuity. And what I mean by this is that, uh, it, it's all connected and, uh, they, they do their best to, uh, keep the, uh, the stuff in, uh, and make sense with each other. And if they absolutely have to, cause some, something doesn't make sense. There is a retcon here or there to help it make sense. But for the most part, it, uh, it makes sense. It's a good story, good, nice, continuous story. And I feel like it, it does a pretty good job of fitting in with the original six movies. So there's another reason that uh, you could get into the EU is uh, if you're unsatisfied with the Disney stuff right now, if for whatever reason, the Disney stuff isn't your cup of tea and you want more Star Wars, uh, give the EU a shot, you know? You might like it. Yeah, and uh, uh, another reason is that uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's multiple uh, formats. You know, as stated before, there's there are books and there's not just, you know, adult novels. There's young adult and... Uh, uh, I, middle, middle grade, you know, little, littler kid books and stuff. So there's, there's some range there. You've got comic books. If you're a big comic book fan, um, there's not a whole lot of, uh, TV shows. You just got the Clone Wars and Ewoks and droids. Oh, and I guess, uh, the other Clone Wars, there's two Clone Wars. Mm, can get confusing, but yeah. And video games. Well, there's there's tons of video games. So, yeah. So, yeah. There's, there basically, there is something for, for you out there in the expanded universe. Whether it, you know, again, it, games, comics, whatever. You'll probably find something to enjoy. And there's multiple eras. 
So there's, there's just ample room to explore. Now I haven't explored and read and played and watched every piece of EU content yet, but I've been doing it for, you know, a couple of years now. And what I've, what I've enjoyed, I, well, I've enjoyed what I've uh, read and seen for the most part there. Yes. It's not perfect. You're not going to read every single book and think, wow, these are all fantastic. There are some that are not as good as others. You know, it's just the nature of how it works. But it's the the connectivity. Like there's re- like things reference other thing. You know, like like uh, let's take Darth Plagueis that book for example. The, in that, there are tons of references to other EU material, like uh, the Bane trilogy, and. Uh, there, there's probably references that I don't get because I haven't read or watched or seen that uh, book or comic or whatever. So maybe someday though. But yeah, so there's just, it's chock full of references and stuff like that. So, um, um, and it's not even hard to get into the EU. There are several entry points. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to, you could start with uh, Old Republic. Let's say Old Republic just sounds awesome to you. You like that idea of, you know, Jedi and Sith and and that. So you could start with the Darth Bane trilogy. That, that I think that's a decent place to start. And uh, yeah, but uh, maybe you love Clone Wars and yeah, you want to get into some novels or whatever. You could could start in the Clone Wars. I don't think that's the best place to start, but uh, I would probably start if you if you want to start with the Clone Wars. Personally, I probably would go with the Republic Commando novels. Um, I enjoyed those probably the most out of like the Clone Wars era novels, besides Med Star, but. And then there's obviously Heir to the Empire if you're if you want something after Return of the Jedi. So I haven't read that yet, but everyone recommends Heir to the Empire as a good starting point, so and I don't disagree with that from what I know of the book, so so all in all there's Yeah. And if you and for comics there's you know, you could start the comics have eras, you know, there's Old Republic stuff and Clone Wars and that, so just, yeah. the TV shows they're probably the easiest since there's only a few of them, but yeah, because unfortunately there isn't like an Old Republic TV show uh, that, that would be awesome if there was but there isn't alright, I think I think that's every everything that comes to mind with why you should if you uh, if you have anything else that comes to your mind, you can why people should get into the expanded universe. Uh, you can put it down in the comment section down below. Yeah, so uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.